Hey everyone, it's Emily Hayes, your Utah real estate resource. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about what it takes to buy a home financially. How much money do you need? So back in the day, you needed a lot of money to put down on a house. Um, I think it was more than 20%. It was probably like 50%. I don't know. It made home ownership out of reach for a lot of people. But today, home ownership is actually in reach for most people because there are such little money that's required down. Now, do I think that's such a great thing? I don't know. It's important to have money saved and all that, but I do think it definitely helps people get into the market and it's really great. So the least amount of down payment you can have is zero. So, um, and that's usually with a Utah housing loan or a VA loan. Um, the next amount that, so that, okay, but typically people want to have about five to 10% down, um, whichever house uh, price range you're looking in. Um, and then on top of that, you're gonna have to factor in closing costs. Now, typically we can try to get them covered by the seller through a credit to you, um, but usually I say about five to $6,000 is what you should expect your closing costs to be. And the things that can make it more money is if your mortgage payment is really large, say you're buying a million dollar home um, and you're closing at the beginning of the month, you have to pay your whole month's interest basically at the beginning at closing. So that's where you see really big amounts of closing costs, but you would have to pay that anyway. So anyway, so that's, and I talk about that a little bit in, a, in another video. Um, so the other thing you have to remember when you're going through the home inspection and you get that report, you want to look at the lifespan of all your appliances. When we bought our house in, in Sandy, Utah, um, in 2011, we were like, oh, it was built in 1993. And our last house had built, been built in 1975. We're like, it's like a brand new house. We're so excited. It's only 20 years old. What I didn't realize is 20 years is basically the lifespan of everything. <laughs> so within like five years, we had to replace the water heater, the HVAC system, and the roof. Um, but we did realize that up front and we tried to negotiate the price down and they didn't accept it. That's okay. Um, but we just have to remember to factor those in. So if you think you're going to have, one thing you can do is get a home warranty to cover um, and usually covers those big things like your HVAC system and stuff. So I do recommend that. And I have another video on home warranties. Um, but um, I do recommend saving some money every month in an emergency fund for your house. So I'd say like 10% of your mortgage at least. Um, and then you can basically build up your funds. So when you do have an emergency happen, um, something in your house that needs to be fixed, you'll have the money ready there. So you can buy the ha a house with zero money down. You do need earnest money, so you at least have to have 500, at the very least. I do recommend the 1,000 or more for earnest money, but um, I do recommend having, if you could have like a $10,000 cushion would be really great, or if let's say you're making a lot of money, if you can just plan to put aside a chunk of that every month to kind of build up that nest egg um, in case there's any issues with the property. Older properties could potentially have bigger issues. Anything you think has potential issues with foundation, just run the heck away. Don't buy it, please. Um, but that's why we're here though, as agents is to kind of help you understand, you know, what the potential costs are gonna be involved in your house long-term. Cause the last thing I want is anyone being in financial, uh, financially strapped because they bought a house and now they have all these bills and stuff. So we definitely try to steer our clients in the right direction. So if you guys have questions about what it takes to get into home, what the costs are involved in that, please let me know. Um, and I'm happy to help. And I don't think I mentioned, but closing costs are typically between five to six, seven thousand dollars depending on how, what the cost of your mortgage is. So I'll talk to you guys later.